Hi guys. So I'm back and today we're talking wigs. You guys might remember when I bought this at the thrift store and I got it for $2.99. And I got it and I said I would make um, BJD wigs out of it. So that's what we're going to do today. Now this process takes a little bit of time. So I'm going to be filming this in segments, but I'm going to put it all together. And you guys are going to see how I make a wig in this video from start to finish. And my first love is faux fur wigs. That's why I got this pillow. And I love the colors. The BJDs are sort of edgy and um, hip kind of dolls to me anyway. So this would go right in line for a wig for a boy or maybe the fronts of a wig for a boy. Or maybe the fronts for a wig for a girl. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to show you is how I make these full fur wigs. And I always look for these kind of pillows or even stuffed animals. Let me show you. Like back here, you'll see I have this orangutan. Now the reason we have it is this belongs to my kids. They no longer want it. And look at all this full fur. I love ginger. I love the reddish color. But this would make an amazing wig. So I love that. And also, look at all this. I'm going to use this to make a wig as well. So today, because I have the faux fur, I'm going to use this SD size BJD head to make the faux fur wigs because most of my dolls are SD size and this head is on a stand. I have a video on how I make these stands. It is just um, from a cup with a holder at the top. So this is gonna hold the head while I make the faux fur wig out. Now, what if you wanted to make a wig from scratch? Over here, I have my jars of um, faux fur remnants. Say that fast five times. Faux fur remnants. I have all these pieces, and these make great wigs for BJDs. Now, the first thing you do is you lay the doll down and you trace the head. Now, I'm doing it in Sharpie so you will see it, but I usually use a pencil. So you just lay the doll down like this. And you're just making a half circle. I mean, you see how it went? And it doesn't matter that it's too big. And you can basically figure out where you want the wig to end. I like it to fall low on the head and end it right here. So. This is basically what you do, and you go like this. Now, this is an a, a Kaiji doll, a Kaji doll. I never know how to pronounce it. I got this doll, um, this head, uh, on Alice Collection for like $25. So I'm very free to do what I want with it. I can dye it, um, do anything. It's right now hanging out on this stand for now, and he's my model. So what I do is I write the name of the doll because I have a lot of these pieces of paper hanging out all over in a drawer. So, so now I know what doll that goes to. Next, I'm going to cut this out. Okay, so I've cut it out. And then I also look to see how wide the doll's head is because this is going to be the sides of the wig. And then you look to see how wide the doll's head is. And what I do is I just take any piece of paper and I go like this and I just figure it out. I just eyeball it because these full four wigs are very forgiving. So you basically have a long strip like this and you don't have to be so precise. You'll see what I mean once the wig is done and you go like this. A lot of people measure along this to get the right um, size. You could do that. If you want, I just, I go like this sometimes, double check it along here. So you see like this to figure out exactly if it will fit your doll and then you cut. So now I have this, you're going to cut one of those and cut two of these. Then you start looking to see um, what remnants you're going to use. And I have a lot here that I can go through, but you guys remember that purple pillow? That's what I'm gonna get because these remnants, sometimes people put it in the front of the doll to give it a two-tone um, hair, but I'm going to use that purple wig right now. 
because I could actually do a mohawk. I could do two of these on the side, you see, and put this down the middle. You can do so much with these um, faux fur wigs. Okay, guys, so this is that pillow that I got at the thrift store. And when I took it apart, it had a white backing, which is good for what we're doing. I've gone ahead and traced out the strips that I cut out. And basically all I'm going to do is cut these shapes out. I've already done one here on this side because I'm going to make several wigs out of this one pillow. Now the pieces I cut out are the rectangle here and the two half moons for the sides of the wig. Now, after you cut it out, um, it does shed. So just take some pieces out. Okay, now I'm gonna clear my work surface. Now we have these three strips and you have to decide what kind of wig you want. You know, do you want a little blue in the front and stuff like that? So I think this is the way I want it to look. So like that. You know, giving him sort of a funky, sort of a funky look there. So basically now I have to sew it. Now you can pin it. Okay, let me move my pen. You could pin it. Okay, this is the way I want it. The half moon and some blue there. So then you turn it around and then you have to start pinning. And then you sew all the way around this way. I'm going to use a blanket stitch because you don't have to be perfect with this because um, believe me, nobody will ever see it. So you can pin here, but I think I'm gonna move this up a little bit to put a little more fur in the front and then you go ahead and you pin it like this. Probably should have used a bigger pin. And then you go all the way around and just make sure you get the fur inside and then you pin again and you're just gonna sew along here. So, so you pin and it doesn't have to be perfect and I only sew one side at a time. So I'm going to start sewing here and I'm going to, I've already threaded my needle. I'm just going to use black thread and sew all the way around. So I'll come back after I've sewn it. So guys, I finished stitching up all the faux fur pieces. Now you'll see what I've done. I used a blanket stitch all around and wherever there was a seam, I used hot glue on the pieces. I used hot glue all around the seams. And I did this for three reasons. The hot glue seals the stitches and it won't fray. The hot glue also covers the Sharpie so it won't stain the doll's head. And the hot glue also acts as a silicone wig cap so it won't slip off the doll's head. So I'm going to turn this over and you guys are going to see the completed wig. So there it goes. And you could take a little brush and just brush it. But basically, we now have a faux fur wig for a BJD. And that's the inside of the wig. And this is the back. It is very funky because I noticed that this was just very thick. This is a lot of hair. So it would work better on a bigger BJD. A thinner piece like this one would probably work better on a smaller doll like this one. You see, see if you use faux fur on this guy. And while we're talking about faux fur, I found something at Ikea. I found these leggings and they're for a bat costume, if you look over here, but they are made of beautiful, long faux fur. So I will be making wigs just like the same way I did with this one. I'll be making wigs out of this as well. I got this on sale at Ikea. I think it was under $10. But right now, I'm going to take some pictures um, of my doll that is complete with this wig. And then you guys can see what it looks like. So guys, this is Kylo wearing the wig. He is my biggest ball jointed doll. He's about three feet tall. And this wig fits him perfectly. He's wearing his black hat and he's actually wearing um, children's clothes. But I'm going to work on a wardrobe for him. 
um, this wig seems to work with him and he did have a wig cap which I took off and I don't need because I used the hot glue under the wig. So if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. Okay guys, I'm going to show you how I make a wig out of this little guy. I just got him from the thrift store and I got it because of this hair. And it is really long, so that's why I got it. If it was shorter, I probably would not have picked it up. So the first thing I do, oh, by the way, I'm wearing gloves because I haven't washed him yet. And I don't know where he's been. So the first thing I do is I look for a seam and then I start, okay, the wig is gonna be for this guy or any of my BJDs, but he's gonna be my model. So I just, you just start cutting. Let me put this up close. You look for the seam right here. You see it right here. So I just cut. I really like working with faux fur because it's really easy. You make sure your blade is sharp. And then look at that. Go all the way around. So basically, you have a wig. I'm going to definitely wash this, but this is where the body was connected. So I'm going to sew this shut. Once I sew that, I have a BJD wig and it's pr practically the size to fit this guy. This is an SD size head, but let's put it on. And there you go. There goes this guy. Look it. I just love it. I'm going to take pictures and give you guys a better look. But first I'm going to wash this. I'm going to wash this and I'm going to just sew this hole shut with just a simple straight stitch from underneath. Just sew it shut. And the hole here made by the body of this um, animal here is big enough to fit over the head so that's what I'm gonna do and then stay tuned guys for pictures of the finished doll